Alright, so grab a cup of coffee and let's start. Drag two videos to your timeline. One is this video and then the overlay. Match the duration of both videos. Now you can see they are equal. Make sure you are 16-9. That's the ratio of YouTube video. And then make it bigger fit to the screen. Zoom your timeline a little bit. Now you can lock the first video and that's your overlay. Now go to video basic and then decrease the opacity so that you can see both of these videos. You can also crop the unnecessary parts. Go to this cropping option here and here you can crop a little bit if you want. If you don't want that's also okay. And here you can crop the edges of your video if you like. All right, now drag this video a little bit here, this side and the first video to this side so that, you know, both of the models will be visible here. Now, by staying on second video, just lock first one by staying on the overlay video, go to mask option and choose split. As you can see that if I rotate here, the other side is turned black. So I don't need that. I can make it like this one up to 90 degree and here increase or decrease the feathers bring this one to this place or the place you want it seems the middle of this frame unlock this one go to the second one and go to basic again and increase the opacity now these videos are side by side but if you play maybe it's going to you know out of this frame as she is going out of this frame you can do key framing go to this second video and now go to video basic and now there are the keyframes add first keyframe where the model is moving out of the frame at this place you can drag her back to the frame like this you can see that the keyframes have been added with the help of this keyframe you can bring her in the middle in the meantime you can also keyframe this you know mask option as well you add a keyframe at this place because she's moving out and you can drag this keyframe here but this place it will not impact the overall video there if you keyframe here then you can bring the mask up to this place and if you move like cursor the mask is also you know moving at certain places so this is how you can you know split this one side by side at this place maybe you want your mask to appear like this one so that's how it's easy for side by side videos. Now we are going to drag these two videos, but we will now do another trick, and that is not just the straight line here, one side A, side B, but we will split them in inclined position like this, like this. Once again, both of the videos have same duration now. Just go to overlay video and now go to video basic and decrease the opacity as you can see both of the videos now bring this video to this side like this and this video to this side like this and make it bigger to cover the entire screen now go to second overlay video and go to mask option now split again rotate anti-clockwise yeah and bring her at this place and keep this one they are separated with this inclined line here now what you need to do go to basic and then increase the opacity if the model is going out of the frame as uh, somewhere here then just add a keyframe then add another keyframe here and bring her back to the frame like this here she was moving out of the frame and now like see she is not moving out of the frame. Same goes to this model at the right side. If you think any of the object in the video is going out of the frame, you can bring back to the frame with the help of these keyframes. So once you're done, you just export your video. All right, so in this trick, we will bring one video here, the other one in the center and the other one in the right side. So it will be about three videos. First, make it sure that you are on the first video and now go to video basic and make it all the way darker. And by staying on second video, just go to basic first and decrease the opacity, then go to mask option. And you know, you can also adjust this one first of all. So here is the video and if I move it that side. All right, so now I can see that this is in the center this one is in the right side okay now go to the second video mask option again and split this one choose the position you like go to basic now go to opacity and this will look like this one if i make it 100 percent we need to now go to the first video 
now increase the opacity of the first video bring all the way to the left side we have this video second one you need to go to mask again we can choose mask so rotate this one bring it to this place it works like 90 make it sure that you are on 90 degree then later on you can fix it now go to basic and now increase the opacity but you see that this mask is going to this video and it is sending this one to the background so you can also go to this section here make it one or two that will be all right if it doesn't work for you then instead of choosing this mask you can choose a rectangle here if you choose a rectangle that and it will not impact the side videos like that you can place this one here and it will not impact this video and this video make it a little bit bigger because it's not fit in the screen once again if the object is moving out of the frame then you can also keyframe and if you want to give some feathers like this you can also give some feathers this was quite easy trick for this third method method number four is also quite easy fit to the screen now go to the overlay and decrease the opacity up to any percentage you like by staying on this one go to video go to mask option and split option like this and decrease these feathers and now just go to basic increase the opacity here you can adjust one video is at the top the other one is in the bottom by staying on this one you increase this one here and now go to mask again and at this place like this one you can decrease the mask value there so if i move my cursor one video is at the top the other one is in the bottom and you can also keyframe whenever the model is going out of the frame so this is how you can easily split screen and bring multiple videos on the same screen with these techniques if you like this video then please thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you next time